They may be fun to watch while playing their sport, but watching these athletes act is pure torture. Here are the five cringiest movie acting performances by an athlete. Coming in at number five, Ray Allen for his performance in He Got Game. Spike Lee wanted Kobe Bryant for the role, but Kobe said no. Lee finally offered the role to Ray Allen, who had never acted before, and it shows. God love him for trying. You named me Jesus after Earl Monroe, not Jesus in the Bible. Number four, Shaquille O'Neal. Don't get me wrong, as a TV commentator, Shaq is funny and insightful. I like the way he thinks, but goddamn, he sucked in Kazam and Steel. I love Shaq, but he can't act. Just get out of here quick. Is quick enough? Number three, Chuck Norris for his role in hmm, a lot of movies but especially Sidekicks, where he plays himself playing a hitman in the movie The Hitman. Tied for the worst role in Norris's career was campaigning for Mike Huckabee. That was stupid. We'll protect our Second Amendment rights. Number two, Howie Long. Have you seen Firestorm? Did you know it exists? Do you remember when Hollywood looked at Howie Long and said, that's a big time action star? There's a girl with him. Take me down. And the number one cringiest acting performance in a movie by an athlete is a tie between LeBron James and Michael Jordan for both of their performances in both Space Jam movies. Space Jam is a cult classic, but looking back, MJ sounds like he's reading his lines off cue cards hey, we own defense. Oh, yeah. for the very first time. And LeBron, bless him, has the emotional range of a rock. Let's end this. Yes, LeBron! I love them both for their contribution to the sport, but goddamn, they should not act. I know art is subjective, but this is my job. Thanks for watching, and as always, stick with Deadspin.